Sergeant. Zeke. What's wrong? Jennifer's not here. Apparently, a soldier was here late this afternoon. Whatever he said upset her. She called for a driver. To go where? Chalon. But she sent the driver back early so he wouldn't break curfew. She also borrowed his pistol. Let me talk to the driver. Zeke. It's the trip ticket. It says exactly where she went. Thanks. So, any idea how long you'll be in here? No, but it sure beats being confined to quarters or the stockade. Yeah, I appreciate the visit, man, but you shouldn't be in here. Somebody will see you. You need anything from the barracks? I'm not allowed to have anything. I'm still on suicide precaution. Well, I hope you get that stuff worked out. If you need anything, let me know. Hey, weren't you scared to come in here? Not as scared as I was when I saw you helping Taylor with that mine. Besides, you'd have done the same thing for me, right? I sure would. Right. Take care of yourself. Yeah, you too. If Dr. Seymour's personal business in Saigon keeps her out past the curfew, it's no concern of the Army. She's very attached to her civilian status. Yes, sir. But she went into a dangerous neighborhood. She took a weapon with her. There's no proof she's in any danger. And if she were, it would be a matter for the police. Would you like me to have them called? No, sir. What I would like is for you to authorize a jeep for me at an after-curfew pass. Denied. LTS Anderson! Come on in, Jake. I'm just finishing this review of the perimeter defense. Excuse me, LT, I got something more important on my mind. Jennifer's in trouble. She went into town, she's got a weapon, I gotta go after her. What about curfew? I ain't gonna make it, that's what I wanted to tell you. Just please don't report me until it's absolutely necessary. How can I report you if I've gone with you? Pay me now. Hey, I can get the cash tomorrow, man. Just, just come here for tonight. Sergeant Jones, I'm Private Thayer's doctor. You and I can help each other. I don't know any Thayer. Don't play dumb with me. If I report you for buying drugs, they'll throw you in Long Bin Jail. Or we can make a deal. What kind of deal? You turn yourself into me. You'll qualify for a detox program and amnesty. But you've got to admit that you lied about Thayer. Hey, I can't afford any detox program on my record. It's better than jail. That ain't gonna happen either. Your one witness is a heroin addict who is now dead. It doesn't change the Army's position on homosexuality. I'm willing to accept that, if you're willing to discuss Thayer's disposition. What did you have in mind? He's out of the Army ASAP, but with a general discharge under honorable conditions. You've got no case against him. I think I could put in his evaluation that he had to be released for a medical reason. It still doesn't address the question of Lieutenant Goldman's actions in Saigon. After curfew? Oh, we could talk about that. But it'll bring up the subject of a drug-addicted sergeant who was completely overlooked by any investigative unit. Everything discussed in this office is confidential. I think that could apply to all of the events mentioned this evening. 